What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and welcome to a very very dope Pokemon Go Halloween event adventure and we are starting off this video by going in on a dark ride. We are halfway down. I'm not gonna lie I have not tapped in this raid. My apologies. I had to do the intro but here we are. I'm so excited for today man. We have new Pokemon to catch. We got new raids. We got new researches. We have new evolutions potentially. There's a new feature. We have news regarding the month of November which is actually looking pretty well you know what, it's looking good, but it's also looking a little bad. We'll talk about it more throughout the video, but going in on a Darkrai raid, ladies and gentlemen, Darkrai is back in raids for the first time in a very, very long time. He's one of the coolest mythical Pokemon of all time. He's a fan favorite, he's got a dope shiny, and he is an absolute beast. So we're gonna go ahead and take him down right now, and hopefully we can get a shiny. Down goes Darkrai right there. Thank you, sir. What's the, what's the hundo again? What is it, 21? It's not that. 2078 is not the hundo. I think it's 21 something. I don't remember. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, not going to be a good IV dark ride, but we do have potential here. It may, just maybe, will be a shiny dark ride. We got 12 balls, ladies and gentlemen. No, not going to be a shiny dark ride. Man, I'm excited that dark ride's back in raids. I'm not going to lie. Now, I will say I did enjoy Giratina's time here. Actually, maybe too much. I raided a lot of Giratina, and we got to talk about him today for sure because we're we're gonna do something pretty crazy with that pretty good Giratina we got a couple, what, like a week ago? We have too much to do in today's video as we critical catch that dark right there. I didn't even know how to react to that. <laughs> critical catch onto the dark right. This is actually the first time I believe, I don't know if this is entirely true, but I mean, that's the first time I've ever got XLs for dark right. So is this the first time dark right's been in raids where XLs are a thing? I don't know, but down that goes right there. And ladies and gentlemen, to start off today's video, we got a brand new Pokemon on our screen. Pumpkaboo, the ghost type Pokemon that has just been introduced in the game. Now, you guys might not, wow, that was a horrible throw. You guys might not be able to tell, but that Pumpkaboo is a certain size. There's a new feature in the game that introduced Pokemon sizes. Now we've always had them, but now we can literally see the size on the Pokemon themselves. But anyways, let's go ahead and catch Pumpkaboo and throw it in the Pokedex. You know what it is. Down it goes and it costs 200 candies. Wow, 200 candies to evolve or a trade and it's free. But uh, man, I don't know if I'm gonna spend 200 candies on you. I'm not gonna lie, sir, but GG's, we got that Pumpkaboo right there. Now we have this one. Is this a different size? To be honest, I can't tell. To be honest, I can't tell, and I think this is actually the same exact size, so we're gonna walk around the park and see if we can find ourselves a Pumpkaboo that's a different size. All right, and just a few steps later, we do have ourselves another Pumpkaboo. This one looks a little smaller. Yeah, this one's smaller. Look, do you guys see the difference? I mean, hopefully you guys see the difference, but this is a smaller Pumpkaboo. Now, it doesn't tell you really that it's smaller, but visually, you might be able to notice. It's smaller Pumpkaboo, so I don't know if this is a universal thing or not. I don't know if it's just Pumpkaboo that has this special thing or it has different sizes. I hope it's universal because that'd be really cool, but I don't know. Down goes Pumpkaboo right there, 915 CP, IVs on it or whatever, but that is how it works. So you might be even be able to see it here. Yeah, you can. Oh, they were three different sizes. Oh my gosh. Okay, there were three different sizes. So the first one was the biggest. Then we had uh, the second biggest and the smallest. Now, we actually have a collection challenge for it, funny enough, and there's a bigger one available. Okay, so we have three of the four possible sizes for Mr. Pumpkaboo. This is just a random little fun collection challenge that gives you five air candies. There's really not much to it, but hey, it's free five air candies. I feel like they could have thrown in anything else in there. It just seems a little like, un like just don't even do it. <laughs> Whatever, five air candies is nice. And something I want to do right now is a shiny check. And we're gonna shiny check our Yamask that we're about to get out of the research breakthrough. Now, man, we'll get to this in a second, but the research breakthroughs are gonna suck again. Next month's research breakthrough might be the worst research breakthrough they've ever put. Ever, 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 ever. So let's go ahead and do this for one of the last times in a very long time. Research breakthrough, not a shiny Yamask yeah, right there, 409. Still haven't been able to snag one of these shinies yet. They're so hard to get. Yeah, this is gonna be a great video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for this next segment, we're gonna do something that I've been wanting to do since the moment I caught this Pokemon. This Pokemon is easily one of the dopest that I own to this point in my career. It is an amazing Pokemon, it's a beast, it's so cool. We, if you guys haven't seen it a few adventures ago, got ourselves this 100% IV Giratina. And you guys might be able to see that we have already 40 maxed it, and we already have enough XL candies 
to do the thing. Now there's no immediate rush to do this, but YOLO dude, YOLO baby. Let's go ahead and 50 max this Giratina, 100% IV, 3820, 50 maxed legendary Giratina. One of the dopest Pokemon I own, one of the strongest Pokemon I own. This guy is an absolute beast. Let's see where he ranks in my top Pokemon. Where is he at? Where is he at? And he's going to be right up here with the big dogs. 3820, dude. Yo. Let me know your guys' best Giratina in the comments down below. Giratina was around for about two weeks. Hopefully, you guys got your hands on a good one. Dude, this is awesome. I've been waiting to do this the whole time. Now I can also tag it with the maxed tag. Show it that appreciation. We're also working on best buddying it as well. But that is... Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I promise I have more amazing stuff to show off in this video. That is a guarantee. That is a guarantee. But let's go ahead and talk about the stuff that's going down in November because I've only kind of seen it. I haven't really read the article, so I don't really know what's going down. But I got a good idea of what's going down. And like I mentioned earlier, it's a lot of good stuff and a lot and some not so good stuff. So let's get to it. Coming in November, the Festival of Lights and More. So November's research breakthrough is Vullaby and can we just I mean I, if I would I don't think it's an unpopular opinion Vullaby is probably my least favorite Pokemon in the existence of the Pokemon universe and I'll, and I'll say that right now and I'll stand by that until until it's all over um, Vullaby sucks and and nobody likes it and uh, its evolution is whack and it doesn't even have a shiny and uh, that's the worst research break that they've ever done I can't think of a worse one I'm sure there's probably something really bad too but I can't think of anything worse than a Volby, ever. Then they hit us with some good news saying we're gonna have weekly one Pokecoin bundles that are gonna reward a remote raid pass and more, which is always great to hear. That's four, maybe five free raid passes in the month of November. Featured Pokemon and raids and five star raids, we have Darkrai again, that's going down until November 5th. So we got about a week and a half of Darkrai. And then after November 5th, the, I forgot what the name of this trio is. The Swords of Justice trio, is that what it is? I don't know. This trio is back in raids called Balion, Terrakion, and Barizion. I don't have a shiny called Balion to this day, so I guess we have something to go for. And then yeah, Terrakion's a beast, so not the worst thing ever. It's, you know, they're cool shinies, I guess, so that's going down. And then Cresselia is coming back to Pokemon Go from November 16th to December 1st. Now Cresselia is pretty cool. It's got an amazing shiny and it's a beast. And PvP, so uh, that's a good one. We also have some exclusive moves. It looks like Dark Ride is gonna know Sludge Bomb for no reason, and we all thought it was gonna get what do you call it? What was the other move it had Shadow Force? No, not Shadow. Was it Dark Void? Dark Void. I think it was Dark Void. But uh, whatever. We get Sludge Bomb with Dark Ride, and then the Swords of Justice trio. I think that they're called that. Uh, we'll get attack. We'll get the attack Sacred Sword. As you guys might know, we talked about this in the last video, Mega Absol has been released and that'll be available until November 5th. One of the best Megas of all time, I think one of the coolest Megas of all time, and that'll be around. Then we have Mega Manectric and Mega Lopunny. Spotlight Hour Pokemon, interestingly enough, are, we got some starters, dude. We got some starters. We got Cacnea, then we have Chinchou, which is a rare shiny, and then we have the Gen 4 starters, which I'm down for, so Spotlight Hour is looking good too. And that brings us to Community Day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most hype Community Days I think we've we've had in a long time. I mean, we just had Gibble not too long ago, but this is a really good Community Day. A really good Community Day. And I know there's a little bit of differing opinions in the, in the community, but Shinx is the next Community Day Pokemon. Yes, you heard that correctly. Shinx, the raid exclusive Pokemon, egg exclusive Pokemon, is gonna be spawning for Community Day. Gonna be going down on Sunday, November 21st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. As you can see, Shinx's shiny family on the bottom right there is so beautiful. We have the golden Shinx family. Now, let me tell you why the community's a little like eh about it. Obviously, it's an amazing shiny. Obviously, it's a rare shiny. And I think the people that are upset about it, it's kind of similar to Gibble, except this one's even, even more difficult to kind of understand. Uh, maybe not. You had to pay for Shinx. You either get him in eggs or you get him in research. So everyone was like, dude, this is such a rare shiny. It's, it's a dope shiny. Uh, and it had so much value because you could only get it out of those two things, right? And now it's going to be spawning. And as we know with community days, the value of the shiny goes down the train. So at the end of the day, it is dope. I, I understand both sides. I really do because I am on both sides. Uh, but it is going to be a dope community day. So I can't wait. The exclusive charge move it's getting is Psychic Fangs. Uh, you guys are going to need to explain me why this is a good thing because I don't get it. 
The guy's not even that useful in general. Unfortunately, I love Luxray, but not that useful. And they give him a psychic type move. How does that help him? I don't know. Please enlighten me in the comments. What I do like about this community day though, dude, is we have three times transfer candy and a four times chance for can for XL candies when transferring. So that means for all of the raids and all of the Pokemon up until this point, I might just be saving Pokemon forever and just transfer a bunch of stuff come community day because a four times chance for XL candies is bonkers. That is insane. You can get a lot of XL candies and that is something to take advantage of. Also, there's gonna be a one fourth egg hatch distance for Shanks as well. November 21st is coming soon. Now let's take a little bit of a break from the news because there is a lot and we do have a little bit more, but something epic happened to me. And uh, to be honest, it happened maybe 15 minutes ago before right before I got here right before I turned the camera on so I couldn't really react to it live Look what I just got from a research reward task. You're not gonna believe it shiny spinner rack One of the coolest shinies that I never knew about I didn't really know what this looked like at all. That is an absolutely Beautiful shiny. I should have kept it on screen a little bit longer, but you guys are about to see it shiny spinner rack I had a feeling I was gonna get it. I think when this Halloween event started, I said that I had a good feeling I was gonna get it, and I got it, dude. Down it goes right there, and you know I couldn't have done it without G Fuel. Ladies and gentlemen, code Gilly for 30% off. Uh, link in the description. G Fuel's my favorite. Drink that snow cone. That's my favorite flavor. It goes crazy. Uh, and and that's, that's honestly what powered me to get the spin rack. That G Fuel luck is real, man. That G Fuel luck is real. You can't deny it. Shiny spin rack, 325 CP, an absolute beauty absolute beauty i love this shiny let me know if you guys got this in the comments down below i think that deserves a like on the video man shiny spinner rack giratina 50 max all this crazy news we're going in dude i promised you a good video there it is now we're not going to evolve it today because that's too much in one day but in the next video or the next video or the next video now we'll evolve it soon maybe in the next video we'll get it done because its evolution is probably even cooler but they're both awesome and i uh i don't believe it I don't believe it, that's awesome, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Look what I just ran into, our first ever Phantom in Pokemon Go. This is easily my second favorite ghost type of all time. I think it goes Dusclops and then Phantom. Well, I guess the, the whole family, you know what I mean. Uh, Phantom goes down such a cool Pokemon, such a cool Pokemon, dude. I'm glad I got it on camera because now I can go ahead and catch all the ones I want in the wild and go for that hundo. Ladies and gentlemen, IVs on it are not good. This one also takes 200 candies or a trade to evolve for free. I, again, thank you, sir. Okay, um, Phantom goes down and I love me some phantom now this guy i would have no problem throwing 200 rare candies into now i know this video has been jam-packed and you guys are loving it okay 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 but let me make it a little better dude ladies and gents we talked about it earlier mega absol is out to pokemon go and your boys got enough mega absol energy to do the mega evolution for the first time ever now unfortunately he doesn't look like he gets too much of a boost. He only went up about 400 CP right there, but shiny Mega Absol is in the game and in the Mega Dex. What a dope looking Mega. I told you I was probably top two majestic Pokemon of all time. Look at that, dude. That is absolutely amazing. I wanted my Pokedex entry to be a shiny. I do have a hundo that's already maxed out that obviously I will be Mega Evolving from here on out. But you can't tell me that shiny was not worth it, man. Oh, we were always, always hoping to get Mega Absol. We finally got it, dude. We waited a long time for this. That's awesome. That is awesome. Shout out to Mega Absol. Make sure you guys go get yourselves some Mega Absol. I don't know how good it is, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm assuming it's good because it's Mega, right? And it's Absol. Uh, how good is Mega Absol? Is he, is he worth... You know, I mean, I have already invested, so it's too late. But, like, is he good? Is he good in PvE? Let me know. I can't stop finding things to do in this video. We have to claim stage three of our special research for the Halloween stuff, um, but also the misunderstood mischief research opened up again. So we can go ahead and claim this and move on with the next part. Accidentally click something else. Sorry about that. Whoops. Didn't mean to click too, too much through that. Uh, what did I just claim? I don't even know. Doesn't matter. So the misunderstood mi Misunderstood, mischief, special research. Earn three candies, catch 30 ghosts, catch 30 dark. Easy money. Um, 
I'm not gonna get that done today, but it'll be done by the next video. And as far as that uh, Halloween special research goes as well, I'm also gonna save that for the next video because we're just doing way too much today. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. Let's go ahead and wrap up all the November news because there's a lot of events going down in November. We have the Festival of Lights event starting on November 5th, which we don't know what that is. Have we had that before? I'm not sure. It's time to celebrate light overcoming darkness with an all new event. Not sure what that means. There's a Dia de los Muertos event on November 1st. It's a two day event from November 1st to November 2nd. Uh, so Day of the Dead, probably gonna be some ghost type spawns, I'm assuming. Uh, some kind of like skeleton, what skeleton book one other? I don't know, but we'll see something like that. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl event. Celebrate, celebrate the launch of Diamond and Pearl with a special event from November 16th to November 21st. So we are gonna get an event associated with that new game. If you guys don't know what game that is, that is a remastered version for the Switch of the original game, uh, Diamond and Pearl. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl from way back when, from like a decade ago. So they're redoing it and we have an event around it. And then on November 26th, we're gonna have a little special, special thing going on with the special research. Let's do it. And the last thing we're gonna talk about in today's video because your boy's out of breath, man. We got ourselves a shiny, another one. Here's a clip. Ladies and gentlemen, so many raids later, like close to 60 raids later, we get another shiny Giratina 1911 CP. I thought that was a Hundo or a Shundo, dude. Imagine 1931. Bada bing, bada boom. There he is. We got ourselves another shiny Giratina 1911 CP. It took me a really long time to get this shiny. Like, it took me like I don't know. Like, I got my first one within like the first 10 raids, and then it took me like 50 something raids to get this one, or 60. I don't even know. That took a long time. But another shiny Giratina down, and here is my entire shiny Giratina collection, or Giratina collection in general, man. We got a lot of dogs in here, a lot of shinies. We've got the Hundo, 98 on the bottom. Giratina was very nice to us this time around. We appreciate that. We'll remember that too. We'll remember that. But anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today's insane adventure. I don't think I let anybody down with this one. We got a, a, two shinies. We maxed out a legendary Pokemon. We did a new mythical raid. We mega evolved an Absol. We have all that crazy news. We got all this research. What? else can you ask for <laughs> ladies and gents thanks for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already remember ladies and gentlemen 30 percent off g fuel 30 percent off g fuel code gilly at checkout it expires this monday uh at midnight so make sure you guys go out there and get yourself some g fuel i'd appreciate it if you guys did it really does make a difference i enjoy it oh i mean okay it makes a difference to me personally, obviously, if you support, but I meant G Fuel makes a difference. Like, uh, it works. It really gets the job done. It keeps me fueled, keeps me hydrated throughout the day. And, you know, when you're doing these Pokemon Go adventures, when you're going out and walking and, and traversing through uh, terrain and all that good stuff, you need some energy, man. So they get it done. Shout out to G Fuel, of course. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see your faces later. Deuces.